prices occasioned by imports. The Ministry of Agriculture now says that it has little options as the East African community gives a free market within the member states. The ministry says that local farmers have to withstand the competitive market in the region as the government ensures the safety of food imports and exports. Maize farmers in the country continue to lament low prices due to imports of the product. However, the Ministry of Agriculture says that they have to bear with the bilateral agreements within the East African region. Agriculture CS Peter Munya says the government's role for now is to ensure that imported foodstuff is good for local consumption. Sheria ya Kenya nimeeleza na ya kwamba tuko kwa soko moja. Uh, East Africa ni soko moja. Tuwezi kuzuia uh, chakula, mahindi ama chakula chochote kutoka uh, nchi jirani za Tanzania na Uganda. Uh, ni vizuri tuelewane hivyo. Kwa hivyo lazima tulime vizuri, tuhakikishe koti zetu za kulima siko chini ndio tuendelee ku compete kwa soko huru. The ministry says it is already working on a plan to ensure safety of the imports. The plans include registration of all dealers, transporters and importers as per section 16 of the Crops Act 2013. While we strive uh, to give Kenyans safe food by addressing the various uh, challenges in the production systems, we equally expect our trading partners to trade in safe maize as per the East African community standards. In a stakeholders meeting held earlier today addressing the Irish potatoes and food crops regulations, a Paretram Task Force report was launched as a plan to revive the sector. Task Force Chair George Wawero says the sector needs more than Kenya shillings 3.5 billion for farmers to smile back to this farming. To mobilize, motivate uh, the farmers to ensure that uh, they remain productive and that they are protected and that they are able to expand, to grow. We are reviving and the moment we revive, we have got to start running, walking. Moving on.